Good afternoon, children. Uh, my name is Srinivas, but however, people call me Saint Srinivas. And uh, bit I wanted to be scientific too. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing is, uh, basically what I do, I raise your scientific temper and put you on in a proper scientific method so that I think I used to fight with all those guys, I have in India, India means intellectuals. But however, when I come across all my 120 goals of intellectuals, what happened after 1930, way back, before independence, Sarsi Raman, only one science novel art in the country. But why India could not produce science novel art, many more, is one question I had in my mind, for which I thought I have to dedicate my rest of the life for educating children at schools. So, I developed a program called Scientific Motivation. Later, when I come across a great personality, Mr. A. Davadas, I will be speaking about him later down the line. But however, when I felt that he is no more physically, but however, his activity should not be stopped in the country at all. So based on that, I developed demonstration. But basically, I, mean, I became myself very acquainted by doing my services all across the country. Uh, saying that a scientific motivator, people named me, after that I talked about the demonstration. So it has become a unique program by the now, saying that a scientific motivation demonstration. So this is very effective program which I have developed, I am proud to say about it. And I am going to connect a few things because the time restriction as well, uh, it is related to energy base. So out of my uh, many more uh, programs developed from my activities serving children all across the state and the nation. So, uh, few services are also mentioned, but however, Children's Circuit Lab, Robo Lab, and then uh, Solar Lab, there are all the different labs and wheels and keep on developing them, lot of it. But I am not going to talk today about rocket science technologies, but however, I wanted to definitely make you understand the basics at nutshell. So, how many you get us, you all have come with latest technology working on all the projects. But I definitely wanted to ask you a tiny question because I believe in one thing. What Albert Einstein said is that if you don't explain simple, which means you don't understand well enough. So to respect and honor that part of statement, I definitely wanted to ask you the smallest tiny questions in between because it has to be interactive session with your children. I request all of you guys to focus on here. Last couple of days I keep on observing every single student how the way they are interacting with the extraordinary event personalities are I should I don't want to name them but people know what is that I have observed but that at least that should not be the case. I think it's given opportunity for me to interact with all those few guys. Usually near about 300 400 students I will be addressing. So for me it's not a big handle to handle all of you guys. But I definitely request to focus your interest on here because tomorrow I don't know whether you get such kind of opportunity again and again to make you all understand the basics. Okay. So as we are all talking about about all this uh, sun energy and whatnot. So I use big technology. So science and technology go together with the engineering between. So so that is one area which I wanted to uh, show about solar and sun and sun. And the first primary question I wanted to ask you all about energy. My dear children, if anyone wanted to talk to me about energy, I will be more than happy to receive your answer. Anybody wanted to talk to me about energy? People talk about concepts, but calculations are not really added. So in this given 35-40 minutes, I wanted to make you understand the importance of calculations given to the concepts. With no calculation to any concept, what will be doing that? Come on, hurry hey, up. Come on, hurry up. Yes, please. Because this is an interactive session. I wanted to really bring out the difference exactly what exactly you mean by the interactive session. What do you mean by energy? Energy is just a power. It, like, it may be mechanical energy, the, the power will act mechanically. It may be electrical energy, then the power may act. Good. Come on, hurry up. Next. Yes, show me. So it's the capacity to work. Okay, next. Anybody else? Yes, go on, yes, go on, tell me. Energy is something that cannot be destroyed nor can be created. Very good, excellent, good. So, that's a good uh, expected answer for me also. So, not be destroyed. Okay, good. Next, anybody else? I want everyone to participate in this session. Unlike yesterday and today, only one or two guys are interacting with us. Oh, come on, are you? Energy can be converted from one form to another. Good. Couple of students talked about it, fine. But now, how many different forms of energies you have come across so far? Come on, hurry up. 
Come on, yeah, hurry up. You now can talk about so many different energies. Come on. Mechanical energy, kinetic energy, electrical energy. I just want CCs. I want uh, every single student to take one option. Okay. Mechanical energy. So, Raju, you, yours is mechanical energy. Okay, come on, hurry up. Okay. Electrical energy. Okay, pass it on to someone else. There are n number of different energies. Potential energy. Okay, good. Next. And Kinetic energy. Okay, I'll come Come on, hurry up. Solar energy. Solar energy. We are going to talk about. Yes, come on, hurry up. So, so many different energies here. You are not even mentioning okay. five or six. There are n number of energies. Come on. Let us make it fast. Wind energy. Wind energy good. I brought a wind wheel to show you how it works like. Oh, come on. Electrostatic energy. Oh, you are to study energy. Pass on, pass on. Yes. Come on. Every single student need to answer me different energy. Hydroelectric. I do very good, excellent. Okay, come on, hurry up. Geothermal energy. Geothermal energy. <laughs> India are people talking about, not really. Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy. Come on, hurry up. It looks like interesting. Now the people are picking up one by one, one by one. So everyone is coming out with their own unique energy. Yes. Ocean thermal energy. Thermal energy. Okay, come on. Hurry up. There are so many other energies. Okay, very good. There are so many other energies. Biochemical energy. Biochemical energy. Come on. Hurry up. Sound energy. Sound energy. That's good. Yeah, of course. Uh, come on. We can do miracles with that. Electromagnetic energy. Oh, electromagnetic energy. Electromagnetic energy. <laughs> present to ruling all across the globe, come on. After Michael Faraday. Heat energy. Heat energy, come on, hurry up, yeah, hurry up. You are taking so much of time. Human energy. Oh, which energy? Human energy. Human energy, muscular energy, okay, okay, come on. Light energy. Oh, light energy, yeah, wonderful, yeah. <laughs> People have neglected that. Come on, hurry up, take it. Electrical energy. Oh, electrical energy, yeah. Come on, hurry up. Light energy. Oh, light energy, someone mentioned. Okay, come on, hurry up. Atomic energy. Ah, so nuclear energy they talked about. Come on, hurry up. There are so many other energies you are not even uh, thinking about all. Huh? Vijay, yeah, go ahead, tell me. Magnetic energy. Magnetic energy, wonderful. We can do this small tiny girl of the third grade, class 3. Biomass and photovoltaic energy. Okay, fine. So, shall we close now for this particular energy thing? Because there are so many other energies you have to talk about. Now, coming to the point, I will tell you about your children and your friends. Today I am here in front of you to give you good clarification about not many good things. I will tell you, right from my childhood, I keep on imagining things because I born and brought up from a small village place in Thirumidam, I did up to my plus two. Okay. So, right from my childhood, what is there in my mind is that whatever I see through my naked eye, that must be known to my mind how it works like. Probably I remember the things from my fourth class onwards. Not that I am boosting myself about all my things what I did. But, however, the greatest difficulty which I have come across today in the country, after 35 years, children are not into that activity. Of course, you are lucky because you are keeping doing something. But one person cannot take the load of the country because children are national pillars of the nation. But however, right from my childhood, days till now, only 3% children are taking the load of other countries. Is it possible? So all the rest of the 97 percent what they do, where they are all going? Another question in my mind. So anyway, we all have to be product because of uh, to build the product in India. So now the thing is, I'll give you a clue. Based on the clue, if anyone can answer me that question, I'll immediately start the session and give you a good idea the way we can live and make ourselves better. Okay, shall I give you the link? Are you ready to take my one particular uh, activity? But before that, I want to release one question. A hint, in fact, hint, because in between all my secret questions, I wanted to release some hints. So I'm going to give you one hint. Imagination is more important than knowledge because the knowledge is limited which our book you read for life. You got it? Anybody understood that or not? You want me to again repeat the same thing for you? Anybody? Anybody want back the same statement? You got it? Or you want me to repeat it? Okay. Imagination is more important than knowledge because knowledge is limited which our book you read for. You got it now? Why? Because I'm a bit hurried because I wanted to cover that much. So the thing is, I have stopped, keep on imagining so many, so many, so many right from my childhood. But many of many of them, I got clarified in my imagination, not by really referring the books. Books and all will give us good knowledge. But definitely, how do you apply the knowledge? What is the difference between knowledge and wisdom? That and all you have to find out, figure out through your own imagination. After which you can start experimenting yourself. Okay. Now I come to a good important question which can really greatly help you guys to become wonderful passionates of the globe. Uh, energy is all about and uh, energy yourself and energy power, uh, power self, all the rest of the planet as well. So the thing is, 
all over the planet, we see we all find energy at different places, my dear children. So we all have come across all the energies at different places in different forms. But whenever we wanted to transfer energy from one place to the other, many people choose in a particular media to transfer energy, converting them to place. The thing is, uh, so why the world has decided to go uh, transfer the energy from one place to another uh, as a media of uh, carrying the energy electricity. Now this is the time which it comes to you, what is electricity. Come on, Harry. We will talk about it. And uh, who invented this electricity and what is, why is that Michael Pratt a part of uh, electricity? And uh, he is just six class class student and after which he could not afford, family could not afford uh, for his further education. And there he joined in a book binding shop and what not he did later. And uh, there is no replica in the entire globe after his invention. And, and anyone can find a software or solution that uh, the kind of wealth created by Michael Pratt's inventions. The various laws, induction water, or say a particular dynamo generation, what not. Hey, you want to see Michael Pratt's one particular dynamo? You want to see somebody wanted to see? So after which, what happened? Like uh, James Watt, the steam engine, industrial revolution, after electricity generated and distributed and served from one place to the other in a different fashion. So last in my last session, I'll tell you, you will come across the most interesting fact of actually as well. Okay. So meanwhile, I have a question in my mind today for talk. Why we student to work AC? Okay, why we student to work AC is the headline given to my session today. Because in my childhood I have no answer for this. What is power coming into our home with the voltage of 220 volts and then single phase with the frequency of 50 cycles? Anybody know about this? So tell me, anybody know about this? Because we are not talking about brick, forgetting the basics. Okay, so at the same time, we really don't talk about current. Only in the books, the flow of electrons current. But what is the mass of this electricity? Anybody has got a question in mind? Anybody can answer this question? Come on, hurry up here. What is the mass of electricity? The mass of electrons? See, that's not all you have to figure out. Because it is doing some work, you know. Suppose, for example, I'll give you one example. A goose train carrying 60 tons, 60 wagons behind. So, every single will uh, have around uh, 60 tons mass of it. So, 60-60 multiplication is going to be 3,600 tons of uh, load on the rails and pulled by 4,000 HP engine, electrical engine or whichever, like diesel locomotive or whatever. Okay. So, so suddenly if you switch off the power to the power head line, that's it. All at 100 km speed, we just stop as it is. But once you just again charge the line, that again runs. But uh, what is the mass when the line is powered? What is the mass when the line is not powered? The cable the mass is remaining same. But how that gives energy so that this 4000 HP engine runs with a 100 km speed carrying all these 3600 tons of load. Anybody thought about all these kind of things? And another most important question I can give you. See, that uh, diesel engine which is uh, used by railways, it is not uh, simply diesel engine, it's an again uh, alternator is there inside. The dynamo power output is going to the motors of the traction motors of the diesel engine. So diesel engine is only running that dynamo. You got it? Why is that they are using two ways? Why they can't directly couple the automobile uh, uh, engine directly shaft output to the wheels? Why you people are not raising questions like this? I can, I have thousands of tricky questions, but I am not going to uh, discuss all that right now. But uh, we'll uh, again uh, our sessions at your schools at the time I'll talk about all that. So basically to inculcate myself and all fine. But at this point of time, about electricity, again uh, see somewhere we found uh, uh, hydro electricity or thermal electricity. All that we carry through, that we step up to 20 kilovolts and then again intermittently we step down to 132 kV and 66 and 33 kV and voltage wise. I am not talking about uh, the current and all. Uh, you need to figure out yourself what is power, the product of voltage and current and all. Uh, so when you coming down the voltage wise, why, how the current goes up, then why they have boosted the voltage to 220 volts and again step down at 220 volts at your home. You need to figure out yourself or interact with later, we will help together. Okay. So now the thing is, 
That data used to happen since last 50 years in India. But why is that we need to depend on? Because science and technology is such an extent that we can generate our own power, right? So the last is, you know, I tell you, in water, if you save a drop, you get nothing but you produce a drop. But however, it is not the case with the electricity. Actually, because the body is somewhere and you get out here, you are saving a one watt here, is indirectly helping the nation by saving 1.3 watts. Because that much of energy you are consuming through the line distribution loss and all. Okay? You got it. So, don't think that I am just saving a single watt here. But however, I wanted to raise another question in my minds, in your all minds. Small tiny questions. What a single watt can do? Come on, hurry up. Who is going to answer this question? What a single watt can do for you? What a single watt? W A T T watt. It can power a zero watt bulb. Hmm, that's right. Sorry. Come on, hurry up. Someone else. This kind of small tiny questions were not raised in your mind, so I know for sure. A single watt which is uh, saved by every family can. That's fine, but I'm asking you if I give you a single watt, W A T T, I'll give you. How will I give you? Don't ask me. I'll give you. I have single watt reservoir sources. I can throw you like that as chocolate like. But now the question is, what you are going to do with a given single watt? That's what I wanted to know from you. Come on, yeah, Ariya. You people never thought this way. Never. Make something work. Huh? Make something work. These are common, common based answers. I want more deep answer. Good answer. Say me deep. I want a practical answer, not this common sense answer. Store that single watt. <laughs> Come on, tell me how you make use of it with a given energy. See, that's where you need to think much, much beyond. Okay, my dear children? Okay, now let me go back to our uh, sun energy, solar energy, and all. Sir, because, your okay, now another most important thing. Uh, some student uh, asked me an inward battery. Who is the guy? Come on, stand up. Come on, stand up. Another student asked me, Sir, could you give, this, give us give me a LED? Who is that? Yes. Hey, both are you are the night. Huh? How come you know that I can carry so much of stuff that you ask me and I'll give you? Sir, I saw in your kitchen. No, that by the time I haven't opened, they are all sorted and they are all working. So how will you ask me that I can pull out an LED and give you? I saw the banner that somebody designed. Oh, just you guess. Okay. Now how this guy asked me a battery? So I gave you LED as well as I gave you that particular battery also, 9 volt battery. But now the question goes to you, how much power you have in a 9 volt battery? Because these kids are playing like anything. They only call an HW, 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 HW. They don't even know anything about that except that they saying HW or some other BW. Come on, tell me now, what is there inside one HW? Have you ever broke it and saw that what is there inside? But why do people are just simply consuming the things without trying to understand anything? That is another question. Anyway, how much energy your HW battery can hold? Why your SL 9 volt battery is costing you 220 rupees? Why HW is just 10 rupees? Why you don't think this kind of common, normal questions in mind? You got it? Yes or no? There could be a lot of difference. That's why the price is so high. You can never uh, uh, bar the price for the Duracell to come down to 220 rupees less than that. Jumbo, same size, physically the dimensions are same. So what the first? Quality? Mm -hmm. Capacity. Uh, uh? Capacity. Okay, good. Up to some extent. But being we are all today, two days of conference, will not give you this kind of knowledge, then why? That is where I just declare it all this. Come on. Uh, what is the load? I am not talking about the load. So long and uh, short is not a matter. Uh, what way the chemicals used different can help you, my dear children? Uh? Storage. Storage. Good. We can do this point. So storage is really matters. So in that case, I have a lot of uh, different batteries. Okay. See, here is a battery I am using. Here is a battery I am using. This is Star Wars DC battery. Okay, good rechargeable battery. Similarly, we have I have brought a small solar uh, plant, power plant. I also brought because to make you understand, because whatever our Dr. Bargon explained on this particular project, or this, all that the practical I brought in front of you guys to make you understand. So, how do you harness this particular solar energy, photovoltaic energy? Now, another question I am going to ask you, my dear children. So, if this is sun, 
So sun rays are falling on it. So some student made a good project like this way, that way, this way. All that automatic tracking is taking place. Okay, fine. So all that time it is keep on facing 90 degrees to the sun rays falling on it. So what is the energy coming out of this panel? Electric energy measured in watts. But what is the energy at input of this panel? But what is the unit for that? See, in sun energy, how many different energies are combined together? So really which energy, which component of sun energy is going inside and coming out as an electrical energy of watts? So now I give you this panel, can anyone say that what is the energy we can expect it from the maximum energy falling on it? These are the questions not raised. People only say that solar panel, solar panel, solar panel. This is so unfortunate in India, my dear children. That's what I told you. Concepts with calculation can never go. Okay, this is where you need to understand at what power I wanted to handle, at what voltage, at what power, at what current rating. All these things must be well known. What is the regulation? No one talks about. Without knowing the regulation, we can never do a good project. At least in energy area. You might as well understand. Anyone can say a little bit of uh, regulation? Anyone know? Little bit of regulation? Those who wanted to be good in this particular uh, power energy areas, they must know regulation. Okay, that's very important. Not that uh, this is star holes and everything is star holes, you can connect whatever you want on this. No. This cannot give you required regulation or required power output. Uh, to drive your thing. So you have to have some reservoir in between. That's where I'm going to show you in, in the part of the part of presentation, uh, the demonstration as well. Uh, we have a reservoir, like mean a rechargeable battery, and also we have a charge control unit. So what do you mean by charge control? Okay, now come on, understand this, okay? So let me, uh, so these are the kind of uh, things I can always keep on asking you again. Uh, what exactly I wanted to connect you all because practically at school level somebody who are interested you can always see with me I never bother the class and the age only the thing deal knowing the things and the facts and working with them because today you are all very fortunate kids having a lot of uh, infrastructure and resources available we never thought that this kind of information I went all going to be in front of us but today you are just simply googling it okay so original thinking Original books are always good. That is why I wish my children will become original thinkers and original creators. Okay. So we'll try our level best. Now I'm going to show you some most interesting thing uh, about uh, a small tiny solar power plant. How really it works like. So solar power plants will have this kind of solar blades. Talking about megawatts, kilowatts, whatnot. Okay. Parallel series combination modules. Of course, every single module is again uh, uh, this particular cells connected in series parallel combination to raise your required voltage and uh, required current to meet your required current uh, requirements as well. So ultimately, it is say suppose 10 watts. That means so far the technology whatever is raised from the R&D departments with this kind of uh, combinations in this particular area you will be able to get that much power only. That's what Sal is telling today morning that your research can greatly help the universe in the same area how your efficiency can be raised. That is possible. A lot of ideas are doing. I have been visiting all of them. And uh, good. Uh, now another point I wanted to show. I need uh, two volunteer girls because they have attended. Come on, come on girls. They have attended. In fact, uh, my general circuit lab where uh, I teach basically a lot of basic electronics and all. So these girls practice some projects how to make and all. So these girls knows that how we can make use of uh, this particular of small tiny power project before that. So you all take your uh, whatever uh, you know fancy. And uh, I also request uh, anybody who is interested uh, to play and uh, enjoy solar uh, projects. Anybody from uh, students, those who are interested, please come on another three or four because we have another four or five more those who are interested in enjoying they can come sufficient four or five are not all four or five okay because we have limited there come you come you come you come so sufficient okay so children give every single one to every single student so that they will be showing to all the rest of the students see we have here a small solar power project it has got energy reservoir which is nothing but regular rechargeable battery whatever way you want 
But here in this case, what is the energy I can store and what is the uh, maximum wattage I can store and all is so simple. It is 7 H battery multiplied by 12 volts. So what is the product? 7 to 1. Yeah, 12, 12 7 sir. So that is the watts you can store in this, okay? Okay, fine. So that's one thing. Now the battery is connected to my solar charge control unit here. And I have a special connection to connect this solar plate so that uh, whenever there is energy falling on this and it is charging this battery and the battery is full charged and automatically stops that is all just cut off so the battery will never go back. That's one thing. Clearly when sun is not there, when you wanted to use your lights back on or fans back on whatever way you want, okay now, follow this sun hold it. And now, uh, now one more student from that side, come back. Anyway, yes, come on, hurry up. See, I said eat of it. Remember I told you, why we student tools? I really don't like these days using student tools at all. Okay, because we have our own power, okay. Now, see, uh, two and two words, that uh, face neutral thing, that will have uh, two pins, no? This is solar pin, and I am connecting this, my solar power, okay? Now, you want to enjoy? You can enjoy. Who asked you not to enjoy? Yes sir, no. How cool it is, come? How cool it is? Enjoy? It's cool, or not? Tell me, huh? Everybody see the thing. Is it? So, it doesn't require any outside power. It's self-powered. So, that is where we want to create you all guys, self-powered, my dear children. So this is where you all can greatly enjoy. Okay, happy about it. Now I'll switch it off and then you can keep it back so that uh, we can connect many more. Okay, we can keep one light and one fan, doesn't matter. Okay, so which light? Uh, tube light. Tube light, light, you come here. No, no, he has got a small tiny tube light. I, I just made a small one for this day, but we can make all bigger ones. Okay, and you can uh, use another power outlet, solar power outlet for connecting your tube light. Okay. Okay, is it fine? Just show it to everybody. So this is a solar tube light. The small tiny one, one feet one. We can have water, we go, how, big, how long and all you can have in that kind of big deal. Okay, this is fine. And at the same time, uh, you have some other light? Yes, come on, come on. Because children are interested in playing with all different lights. So I made another light. So you connect that one. I don't have to connect. You can connect. You can make use of this one. Anybody else wanted to connect anything? Yeah, one can come. One can come here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, this is fresh. Oh, this is good. Okay. So, someone enjoying uh, the something. Okay, you can also connect another one. Show it to your friends, man. Because I'll connect, come and uh, see all the different colorful Diwali here. Okay. So, enjoy. Why don't you give a weekend to these guys celebrating Sala Diwali, first time in the history of India? And uh, another way, see, it, though it looks like a small, tiny plate. But can you give, imagine how much powerful light it gives up? Hold this, hold this for me. And before that, hey, another pouch, you have one more pouch. You can remove someone and connect this well. And you see? Enjoy this one as well. Okay, good. Okay, now one more, uh, any other thing you anybody wanted to connect? Yes. Okay, now remove this one. And uh, show even this one. Come on. And this one. See how powerful is this? Looks like a tiny plate. See? Can you see this? If you want to see the face here, see? Make, make it up, make it up. See? Okay, these people cannot even. Just one of them thick, the plate thick is just one of them. But can produce this much of light. So based on this, okay. Now anything else we have to show them? Okay, okay. That is all about regulating the sun energy. See, can anyone guess this much of light it can give you? It's all about regulating sun energy. Okay. So you can use it for multi purposes. So what is it I'm talking about all this? Okay. Okay, we can keep one by one back on. Okay. Okay, good. Thanks for your help, my dear children. And uh, after some time, when battery goes off, then the charge control will also trip off all that. That's the power loading and all will be uh, taken care. And also I wanted to make you understand the entertainment and solar. We can do whatever we want, that's not a big deal, okay? So I think this thing can connect to our solar outlet. Okay, connect it. Are you done? So, are you done?
I made a small amplifier for Sanan So, see, whenever you switch off, 
switch on. Switch on. See, automatically the signal sent to the wireless receiving station, service station, saying that this heat light is no more working. Uh, we don't know whether the bulb fault or something else fault, we don't know. But alarm is given, the personal service person have to go back and uh, you know our attitude like it and all. And uh, the moment they complain, the comment is removed and that's it, alarm is stopped. You understand? Why don't you bring into this design? No one has thought of the kind of that is the minimum. Uh, okay, come on, hurry up, get us put it back. Okay, you can switch it off, you can switch it off too. Okay, now, our cell power. My children, but the reason I inspire the things, I designed things to inspire you all guys. Basically, I wanted to create self-powered people in the country. Okay, not in the traditional way. So this is how you have to have the inspiration and be try to be self-powered with some power. Okay? Okay, I'll get back. I'll get back to everybody. Similarly, my dear children, I wanted to uh, show you this wind power. Uh, where is this connection? To connect to my because now required wind energy is not sufficient enough. My children are connecting sun energy to give you this fan on. Okay, now the fan is on, the wind wind is on. Above some particular wind velocity, you see the lights have come on. Happy about it? So minimum 2 meter per second velocity is required to run a wind, wind uh, power for around 1 megawatt uh, on the Tirumula Hills and all, no? If we have that uh, 1 megawatt, uh, they are near about 20, 30. Happy about it? Now the question is, when the wind velocity is going down, lamps are coming down. That means, the output power is proportional to the energy in the wind. That is what you need to understand. So don't kindly request all my students, we hear it, they never call the wind energy, wind bill at all. Energy, what, let us work with the energy in the wind. Okay, my dear children, understand? So, can you keep your hands up and say, we'll uh, catch the energy in the wind, not that wind energy or wind mill, no. We'll work with the energy in the wind. We'll try to understand how, at what, the energy in the wind can greatly help us, okay. So, after which, now let me go to another most important, most interesting. The smallest solar project which I made, I think probably you all know about it, very inspirational. But before that, before this uh, uh, saying something about this, I want someone to recollect the accident took place at uh, Uttarakhand three years ago, I believe. Ah, flex, what happened after the flex? Huh? Say again. So you know hundreds of people that lost their lives are thousands. Why is that happen? Why is that happen? So at that time I decided on uh, design this one solar charger. So you can charge uh, just keep in sun for uh, eight hours. It receives full energy. Anybody want to test it? It receives full energy. Not no. Uh, somebody else. Come on, somebody. Not uh, okay. This is uh, receiving all the energy of sun, and uh, you can uh, make use of it. So you have a cell phone. Okay, come. Otherwise you can use mine also. Anybody's cell phone. Uh, whatever connection you want, okay? Put it? No, only one, only one, not all. Okay, this is designed for only one at a time, okay? Okay, now fine, shall I switch it on? Uh, you switch it on, yeah? Why I switch it on? And make sure that your phone is charging. Yes or no? I mean, so you can charge with this at least nearly 8 times. 8 into 2 days, standby time 16 days. So comfortably you can go to Uttarakhand and enjoy your trips whatever way you want. So you won't be running out of power there. The local 220 volts will fail miserably at the time where the charges are not charging anymore at the time people lost their life. Okay. With a simple charging system people lost their lives. I came to know thousand but you are saying lakhs. How bad should you start? Okay. So why can't we design and make all these things? This is what I teach them in my solar lab. Okay. So after my general circuit lab, I have another lab called solar lab and like global lab. Okay. So we will demonstrate something else now. People can enjoy all this. Now, children, let me talk about very interesting and essential thing. These days, very anyway, uh, students, I'll ask you my uh, last one, 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 two questions like uh, uh, anybody uh, come across any time called uh, emergency light? Anybody know emergency light? Yes. So have you ever brought this? It looks like this, you know. Hey, uh, anybody purchased? 
Your maybe your parents or maybe someone like you and all, okay? Emergency lights, okay? Now the thing is, these lights are now more working in India. Why? Because the tubes are not supplied from the companies where they manufacture. So it has become a big e-waste. It has become a big e-waste. People are just buying everything in India and dumping them like anything. So who is responsible to dispose all this e-waste? You got it? So I have an alternative idea. So whatever way you don't get like the tubes or the internal things, that's simply not the solution that we will throw them out. So ultimately what we did with these girls, like they came to my home in summer vacation and they learned a lot much. They gave me this idea, can we make, re-alter, recycle this kind of uh, regular emergency lights like this particular way? You see how bright they are? Yes or no? So we have been using it yesterday onwards like for our purposes because we have it in the hand. So like this kind of model, we can also make this kind of uh, lights. Okay, my dear children, you enjoy being happy about it? So this is what I want my all my students of me, particularly let us handle e-waste, the name given to this activity. We have to handle because I'll tell you a very interesting fact about it. You know we import crude oil? Crude? Anybody know about that? So today we are equally spending money to import even electronics. It day whatever crude you require. Similar, see, equivalent amount. So that is going to be massive. And uh, uh, I think with this, what I wanted to conclude, okay, my dear children, as I told you in the beginning of this session, that uh, I am a scientific uh, motivator and uh, as well as demonstrator. I would like to serve myself at your various schools. I think there are some uh, seven eight schools that have come. Those who are interested, other anyway, I brought my other gadgets and all to demonstrate in my the small uh, vehicle there. So I'm here for another uh, one day. If anyone wanted, I can extend my uh, day later also, and then I can go back. Uh, that's one thing. Those who are interested, they can always reach back to me because my leave cards are given and my visiting cards are all given to you all. Ultimately, though I am away from Hyderabad, earlier I am there in Hyderabad for several years. I, uh, in fact, I am an industrial industrial for almost 10 years. Then I went to United States and came back and then started serving the rural sector about uh, the pastoral Andhra Pradesh. And I wanted to reach again back to Hyderabad at least for 10 days a month so that I can, because thousands of schools are there, children are there, wherever they are. So I have come across all different schools like government schools, corporate schools, independent private schools, and state most prestigious schools and all, but uh, I found that our net can be made uh, such an extraordinary. So, but definitely with a given mentorship, I am a best mentor award in the international market. Ultimately, my goal is how best I can keep you all at Indian Science and Engineering Fair and Google Cloud Science Fair and all the stuff like that, okay? And last, another one more important information for you all. I am inviting you for Indian International Science Festival happening at first week of Delhi. Those who are interested, they can always reach back to me. But ultimately, what I want to tell you lastly, let us work with the sun energy, uh, in fact, in a big way, which I uh, already have come across, okay? So, Children's Circuit Lab will give you basic knowledge uh, to handle all your electrical and electronic concepts. So that, that's a big based learning. So, I basically designed all the 150 projects so far, based on uh, physics, because physics is very important. Uh, and the, otherwise, uh, without much physics, not many things cannot really take place. So that's where uh, modern physics and in fact, uh, actually in an electronics area, I am concentrating because no uh, much real people there where they can practically make you understand. So those who understand, they can always be in touch with me and let us work together so that we can win together. Yeah, so I have a question about the solar powered light, the flood light. So, if you're on the road and someone cuts the power supply from the light, how will they transmit the signal? Because the signal, because the transmitter also won't get power. Right? Oh, you mean uh, uh, on the roof, uh, the, the top of the solar lamp? You mean something will climb and destroy there, something like that? No, no, the thing is, basically, I developed a main Yeah, that's what. Yeah. See, this is a model. Actually, all these things are going to place in the top. That's one thing. Okay, that and all you can, but have an idea of us. Based on this idea, you can do whatever innovations you want. Yes, come on, hurry up. Sir, is the solar, solar charger have a battery saver? Yeah, of course, yeah, it has to be, it has to be. It has to be. So, I think, uh, thank you for uh, giving me this all great opportunity and uh, it's time for me to honor my uh, Dr. Bhargava for one reason. 
Uh, actually, I, I wanted to touch another most important point. I initially touched upon like Mr. Uh, Ek Jaradas, who is my godfather. I kindly request my dear children. Uh, in fact, uh, go to scientificstudent.com right now, right now. Scientificstudents.com and then click on my godfather. I did small work to respect and honor my godfather. Because I don't know how many people are there in India those who have demonstrated electricity, magnetism, electromagnetism the way C. H. Devadas has done. I just went through his one of the demonstrations at IIT Ramaya's place after which I understood that this kind of great man has to be there forever. But uh, however, unfortunately, it did not really happen. So, but however, I fortunately found Dr. Bhargava used to be very closely associated with uh, our uh, H. Devadas and uh, last six months I keep on visiting him and talking to him and regaining the kind of knowledge again and again from the way I used to get from the Sri Devadas. So, once you go through that uh, My Godfather link, then you will know what a kind of Gurudakshana I did for my Dr. Devadas. Similarly, we need to continue the same process. So, in India, in this particular culture, yes, definitely we have to run that. So, at least, though you are uh, few guys, but self-motivated and I have seen your projects and are working, trying to prove yourself in a big way. So I request Dr. Bhargava to demonstrate. Today we are all very fortunate. Like uh, Sri Devadas is one more. main mother pal is there in front of us. And if Dr. Bhargava accepts my invitation and come and uh, say few things about our uh, age Devadas, I will be so happy and at the same time, I will see again, I think it's uh, more than 22 years now he is no more with us. But still, wherever in India, whoever has learned something in electricity and electromagnetism and electromagnetism, without Dr. Devadas, in six years of span, I think there are a few thousands of demonstrations he conducted all across the state and the national and the international uh, venues. Please come on, sir, and demonstrate uh, uh, our uh, Dr. Devadas, sir's own made mother pile. So, we are all very lucky and fortunate. Please, Karthik, take a proper photograph of this. This is a historic coil. It has got an equivalent importance. Like, you know, Mother, uh, Michael Faraday's... This protocol, this agent which you see in front of you, it's a special type of transformer. All of you who are in 10th class, this physics uh, students, they must be studying about transformers. The concept of transformers generally has is a two coil system or automatic device with a primary and secondary. And if you energize the primary and you get a proportional voltage on the secondary side. Now this is a very special type of transformer which Mr. Devda, late Mr. Devda invented and got a DNC prize for this. What it has got is just one coil and there is a core here which is open-ended core, there is nothing here so there is no primary and no secondary concept there is only one winding here which magnetizes with the time varying electromagnetic field which comes all through this core here now one of the interesting things that he developed or experiments he developed for the concept of magnetic levitation all of you are aware of what is levitation the electromagnetic levitated trains are run in China, in Japan and some other countries as well. The, the principle is very simple. Here is an aluminium ring which I am placing here. And when I energize the coil, look what happens. Let's switch on. So this is a simple concept of magnetic levitation. Now, the other side of the picture is so, it comes down. So, so long as there is electromagnetic field, a time varying electromagnetic field, the system works as a magnetically levitated device. Now, can I can I call to the student, girl student and two boys over here please? I want to demonstrate something very interesting. Just two of them. Two girls, please. Two girls. Come on. Yeah, from that side. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Come here. Come here. 
Yeah, this is after uh, 22 years again uh, the kind of demonstration again going on. You are all so great and lucky. Yeah. 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 Do not lift your fingers till I tell you. Okay? But no, no, no. Just keep it. So that it doesn't really fight that. Just keep it there. Now put on the red device. How much? How much? So what do you need to do? Oh my God! So this is another concept. So why did I pick it up? Which you come to know uh, later in your class that if the secondary of the transformer is short circuited, such heavy current flows through the winding that we can melt the winding. This is the, the effect, you know. This ring, which is otherwise simple aluminium ring. Then it is raised right here. In one form, it is electromagnetically levitated. And in the form, it is acts as a short circuited secondary of a conventional transport. So it gets so much heated that the girls, you know, they cannot hold it for it. And uh, you have to release it. It's quite hot. But it is just a. Uh, uh, this is the coil. Let's do something like this. Uh, I think uh, Vilal will repeatedly say, uh, one more mic please, this guy know that, my slogan, Make in India, come on. This is Make in India match and I wanted you all guys to, come on, Elliot. Where is the mic for uh, this guys? Like, where is the mic, please give the mic. So, whatever this guys will say, so I'll repeat that. I really enjoy because yesterday they wrote on this particular uh, uh, few charts. Okay, come on, hurry up. Make in India, made in India. Say, all of you. Make in India, made in India. Skill India, school India, true solar India. Skill India, school India, true solar India. Past made in Japan, present made in China. Past made in Japan, present made in China. Future now onwards. Let us try to make it happen made in India. So in this I conclude. So my dear children, uh, I hope you all went to your uh, specific schools, respected school, and then we will again meet with all your friends there for two to one hours of our continuous session. And then I uh, will uh, give thousands many more ideas and then uh, hundreds more ideas, items to be demonstrated there. Okay? So let us handle physics in a big way so that we will throw away our physics for the Okay? So let us work together, my dear children, so that we can meet together. With that, I conclude my session. Thank you so much for your lovely nature as well as presentation. We are running short of yeah, time. I know, I know. Yeah, I know. So, from all of you, uh, uh, on behalf of all of you and AP Geographical Society, let me present you a small token of home.